Well, hello guys, that's another lovely day of the Insignia owner. So, I was doing a, just a quick check on the suspension and when I finished with the suspension, I was like, I'm just gonna look at the engine bay. And what I found, I'm gonna show you right now. Dum, da, dum, 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 dum. So, as you can see, I already stick a piece of tape. I don't know why, just, just did it when I found it. So, behind this tape, there's a little crack. Well, I'm gonna remove this pipe and we will see uh, how bad is it, to be honest. All right, it's all secured. Well, I don't know if I have to use this tape anyway. I got some scratches all over the car. Just some extra protection. And now I need to remove this trim, which one is going all around the light. All right, it's all removed. I was painting ass. Now, I don't know if you can see. Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, I just need to undo this jubilee cable and I should be able to oh first I need to disconnect it from the from above then here I should be able to just to pull it out oh we'll see so that's the top bit I'm gonna try to pry it with the screwdriver and I may gonna just unclip it all right so the pipe is out or the hose whatever that's a fucking nightmare to take it off seriously but it can be done with the simple tools. I can see screwdriver, circuit set, and I don't know for what I take the spanner, but I didn't use it at all. Yeah, I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna show you the crack. Right, it's very clean. So now I can show you where the crack is, and the crack is up here. So usually I would just get the replacement and replace the whole thing, but unfortunately this time I got the planned holiday, and I kind of haven't got the time to wait for the part because uh, I got phone box and they told me like hundred, I think hundred eighty quid for for this house what is a ridiculous price i guess and i think you can get the replacement for about 60 quid so yeah i rather do the temporary fix and get a, get a replacement later on all right what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use a t-rex tape it's like a duct tape but way 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 stronger and a cable ties and i hope it's gonna hold it well, nothing was wrong to be honest, but I heard that uh, with these issues they like to go to the limp mode on the motorway and I like that. Well, I've got about three, 300 miles to do on the motorway, so yeah, I hope it's gonna, it's gonna work just fine. Well, oh, maybe I will let you know after, after all this travel, because I'm gonna do about 800 miles probably in this trip. All together so yeah let's fix it let's repair it and let's fit it back on well if that's not gonna survive then I don't know. Well, it's just need to survive a weekend, and that's all. Yeah, let's put it back where it was, and we'll see. I'm gonna start the engine, and I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see. I'm gonna hear any weird noises coming out of the bonnet. So yeah, here we go. All done. Yeah, it's just a temporary repair. Remember, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't leave it like that. Just because I'm going away for a week and I, I need to make sure it's gonna survive. Uh, I hope it's gonna be alright. Well, I, I give it a, I give it a go. Uh, 
that was a quick test ride and yeah everything seems right but like I said I, I'm not recommending repairing this holes but the best is just get a replacement fit a new one job done quick and easy mm, bad news I can see the that's a vacuum pump it's creating a mist of oil so will mean probably the gasket need to be replaced yay lucky me fuck my life oh well the beautiful car is coming coming over ah well i think that was fiat 126p probably anyway uh like i said i i'm not recommending uh repairing uh, the turbo holes it's better just to get a new one and you know don't think about it anymore just do it once because it is a pain in the ass to bloody take it out and even worse is to put it back on but anyway uh, as you notice well I, I did I did notice <laughs> there is a little tiny leak on the vacuum pump so yeah probably the new gasket need to be fitted so yeah stay tuned because definitely I'm gonna try to make a video of it, uh, hopefully, well, depending on the weather, because I was changing the shock absorbers and it just starts raining, so I just gave up. If I haven't got the time, I would rather just do it quick and not get too wet. Yeah, I'm gonna give them two, three more test rides just to, you know, see if there is anything uh, getting out of this tape from underneath it. If not, Happy days. If it is, well, I will have to drive like that anyway because I'm I'm not gonna get the replacement, and I'm not gonna pay 180 quid for the for the piece of rubber. To be honest, well, I'm tight. Yeah. Anyway, have a nice day, guys, and stay tuned. Like I said, because that's gonna be some some new video coming up probably sooner or sooner. Yeah. Cheers, guys.